Welcome to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the zip string. Can you push string? And I'm going to show you how you can. If you're new to the channel, please remember to click the subscribe button. And if you love this experiment, please click thumbs up. It does help the channel. All right. Hey, welcome back to Kids Fun Science. Today I have a very fun and exciting new science toy. It's the zip string, right? So this is not a paid advertisement. I bought my own. I actually bought a couple of them. Um, and I'm going to show you some of the cool things about it and the science behind it right now. So zip string when I take it out. So this that was the packaged one. So here's the one I got here. It's just a little device. It's got a motor in here, some other things. And then it's got two rollers and it's going to take this string and it's going to say, you ever heard, can you push string, which you're really not pushing string. And I'll explain the science in a second. So basically, once you have the string in place and there's, it comes with three different sizes and I've got the medium size one here um, and you click the button on, the string comes right out like this, which is pretty cool. And so the science behind it is that it's got momentum, lift, drag and gravity, right? So when it's first coming out, it's got the momentum picking up and then uh, this fiber, this thin fiber rope or string that's using has little fibers sticking out. When we get a little closer, I'll show you. And um, that creates the drag, right? So as the drag goes, you can see it starts to lift until gravity brings it back around. And then of course the tension's always pulling it around. So it's a pretty cool uh, device. And so when you see here, when I go back and forth, it looks like it's just staying there. And it kind of just moves its place like it's still. I mean, it's just like, you can play this with this toy for hours. But what's cool is when he goes sideways, it takes a while for the other end to catch up to it, where here it kind of just goes back and forth and corrects out, right? Or you go up and down. <laughs> it's just amazing what, what it can do. Try to sit back a little bit, a little close to the camera there. Wow, this is crazy. So the wave speed is slower on the top than it is on the bottom. The bottom is being pulled in by the rollers and it's pushed out. So it's increasing uh, the tension on the bottom and uh, decreases on the top. So that's why you get your different waves. And what's cool is when you pull down, you can see that it only does affects the wave on the bottom. When I pull this, it's going to send that wave this way, right? But when I do the top, you can see it totally corrects them both. It makes them both move and watch them both go. When I let go, they both go out at the same time, which is really cool. But when you affect the bottom, you're only getting that one wave right there on the string. You see here, when I'm doing it, only the bottom is really making the wave and the top is kind of straight overall, right? So here's the string up close and you can see there's a lot of fiber sticking out from the string and that's what creates the drag that helps it as it goes the drag it becomes then it gets into the lift uh, of the string so it's really important to have uh, the string a little bit uh, all with these fibers in it because it's going to help the string uh, with the lift so if you take some sandpaper I'm sure if you sanded it down you got a lot more fibers you probably could extend the string to be a lot longer than it is because it's going to help with more drag all right, so putting it on is you're just going to take your string and you're going to sit it into here. And then what I do is hold the string here on the back side of the roller and I pull it in like kind of like dental floss and it goes right in. And then I pull it to make sure it runs smoothly. You can see it's on the roller there and it's on the roller on the back side. And then from there, you're just going to click your button. And there you go. You can see when I go back and forth, I was talking about the waves. They go on the bottom, right? because there's more tension, increasing tension. Uh, so you see the waves on the bottom, but the top part is straight. Uh, All right, so you can see, this is on the ground right here. I'm 5'7", five, five, it's probably 5'5", five, five, maybe a little shorter, but this is the medium string. But what's cool is I've done some out, outside, but now you go straight up too. Hopefully you can catch this on the, the camera, but uh, it goes straight up there 
and you can still do the, the waves on here. It's amazing how the lift is still a little pulled up and bring it straight up to the ceiling. You can play with the, the front. It does get tangled every once in a while, but just take your time, get it all out. But uh, it is truly amazing on what it can do. Uh, oh, there it goes. So it does knot up a little bit every once in a while if it, if it can spin around too much. Um, you just have to take your time, uh, pull it out, make sure there's no knots in it, and the strings back on the rollers right, and then you can just start it right back up again. So if you're careful, it, you keep using it over and over. All right, so here's my, uh, I saw this online. I'm gonna try to do five cups here, trying to interweave it by pulling it back. It kind of goes around that second cup and then let it wrap around the third cup and let it wrap around the fourth and the last one. There it is, all five cups. And it can pull it all the way up. There you go. So there's a little fun trick she can do. So here's the longest one here. Uh, it's definitely, uh, <laughs> It's definitely large. Um, I didn't think I'd use it in the house, but you can. The ceiling gets in the way a little bit, but you can still do it in other places. So um, I might have to move this back. There it goes. That's way out there. I don't know if I can get it there. Get a big opening. This is the one, this is the one you're going to be able to go through, right? So if it works out, you should be able to step in. <laughs> That's how you go through it. All right, hats off to Zip String, right? Great, great invention. Um, it's rechargeable, which is really cool. Any USB device just plugs right in, charges it up, um, and it lasts for a long time. I've been using this one. It's the only second time I've charged it, and I've been playing it for a couple days. So anyway, very super cool toy. Um, it does not up every once in a while, but it is fantastic uh, physics uh, toy. you got to get one. Uh, so if you like this experiment, please remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Uh, and thanks for watching.